I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Mark and Aaron. This is the busy downtown restaurant which they manage. And this is what the restaurant looks like now, thanks to lots of help from Design Inc. Stools. Okay. 23 sit 
did our banquette, 16 ottomans and eight club chairs. Good. So can I go ahead and order the bar stools today? Yes, can we stop talking about math? You don't want to be in on this math conversation? The very idea of number crunching drives Tommy away, but we're in a crunch to hit deadline. We have a business. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's it was heard. too light. Too light. Maybe we just do this lizard for both the dining chairs and banquettes. Damask could be for the banquette. Perhaps we use this swirl on the chair back. This is what we like? Yeah. How's this all adding up? Bar stools, dining chairs, the little stools, all of this fabric, not including the charge to plasticize it, not including taxes, about $38,000. Here's an idea. Let's find a smaller restaurant with a bigger budget. <laughs> Renovating a hotspot has us designing round the clock. I have absolutely no issue working through the night for $1,000 an hour. Yeah. Dreaming aside, we've got a month from start to finish. Only four weeks to get it done right the first time. You got a fancy dowel color on. Will our scavenged treasures help? We're actually going to chop these. They're only going to be 60 inches. Okay. So we're going to basically go from here down here. Okay. And we were going to just attach a piece of mirror to the back. And we okay. thought that it would kind of make a nicer kind of depth and reflection yeah. if the mirror went in behind. And I just think that all this looks way too shabby. Yeah. There's no chic on this yet. No <laughs> but there will be. As our after hours demolition begins and that tree goes away, we're seeing progress. And the spooky dummies are shipped far, far away. for some serious sparkle. We're thinking maybe possibly chandeliers, and so I'm just coming here for safety to get some shots of what could be reasonably worked into the budget. Do you think that's in the budget? Whoa, that could make anyone's head spin. What I'd really like to try is laminating fabric. Whew, great. If, if the plasticizing is what's gonna make it durable, couldn't we go with less expensive fabric to start with? But apparently green is expensive. I got this, $7.99, 100% polyester. Looks like a really great, expensive tweed suit. Can it be plasticized? Definitely. Perfect. It will be the backs and not the seats. the seats. Right? How about the dining chairs? Oh, I got this one. $19.99 means $21.99. This looks nice, I'm liking right? it, yeah. But we have to play this up. We said from the beginning, well, how much more exercise do we want to do? Honey? Hold up. Shrink wrap the place. The seats are going to be done again in our lizard. Okay. The backs are going to be done... Let's get rid of these. <laughs> the backs are We're being... We're we, doing this? We buy the bullet. It's $42 a yard. We all love this fabric. Yeah, let's right? just do it. Yeah. Let's just do it. Our six tub chairs will be done in a durable faux snakeskin and the Ottomans in olive green ostrich. I should probably get you a floor plan and maybe just sort of shade with highlighters exactly which colors are going where, like to a legend. This is one of a, a very, very few special cameo appearances on my part, because it's late. It takes a lot of sleep to look like this. <laughs> Sleeper time. A lot of sleep. Our night shift approach to this project is a little bit tricky just because the we don't see the transformation as quickly as we would if we could just have full and complete access. The fact that they can set up for a couple of hours and they have to put it all back together so the restaurant can open for the next day, it's sort of like trying to live through renovation and I feel like it drags on. Any kind of changes, there's you know, a cost of doing business and this is one of them. You, know, you can't make the changes without full sacrifice. Can we talk about sacrifices? The owners, after signing off on the bar stools that we all agreed on, now think that they're about $50 too much per stool and have asked me to go on another website, check out another stool that they were interested in, which is quite a lot less. I so, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. 
My thought is that with the bar stools, you're gonna take a lot of wear and tear. They really are. And the one that we've selected, it's really solid, and I hate uncomfortable chairs. I yeah. hate rickety chairs. I'm feeling really stubborn on the bar stool. Me too. I'm willing to give up other stuff in order to get that bar stool. Okay. The second you start rethinking one element of the design, there's a trickle-down effect, and we have to rethink everything else that goes along with it. Our nocturnal update of a city dining institution is well underway. Budget, timeline, and no sleep has got some of us on edge. Here's an idea. Let's find a smaller restaurant with a bigger budget. <laughs> I went to look for the light fixture, and I'm hoping that that's it. Uh-huh, that's the one. Is it a some assembly required project? Because if it is, and all the crystals have to be put on after the fact, <laughs> we can always think about whether we want to keep it the dark, or do we want to change it? Ah, spray paint it. We mm. can spray it, and we can spray it light if we wanted to. We can spray it green. I think it's a really yeah. fun assembly project. Yeah. For someone. The more the better. $139. Tabletops? Mm -hmm. They end up being almost $100 less than the other company. Here's what I'm thinking. Make this pretty little dive up. Marble at the front, steel in the seating area, the existing tables. Yes. The, the octagonal tops. Yeah. Leave them exactly as they are okay. so that we have a consistent line all the way down this side. All tall. Of all wood. And okay. we put them on new bases. And lower them, like we always said. We'll bring them down. <laughs> we may be punchy. Right? But thankfully, the work crew's well rested. They're going at this place full tilt. Ooh. This is a lot brighter. Holy moly, is it ever. I kind of thought that this green tone would be more green. Has all the paint been bought? Yes. That was the wrong answer. <laughs> Has all the paint been bought? I'm not sure. <laughs> This is going to cost us, but it's got to be fixed. We need punch, and we need sparkle, and we need some wow. We may be able to squeeze a few dollars worth of wow from the tables. I'm trying to, you know, make the best and trim this budget back as far as possible, but I just don't think I can live with these tables as is. Maybe not. Yeah. Some days I'm optimistic. Today I'm not so much. Today I don't think anything. It gets better. Remember those inexpensive chandeliers? Each one has to be painted put together. We have to build these light fixtures because the electricians aren't going to want to do that. Here's an idea. Pass it along. Hey Jess, it's Tommy. How are you? Uh, there's a chandelier in the loft. Mm-hmm. If you wouldn't mind putting it together for me. Uh, no, I don't mind doing that. Sarah wants us to decide whether we think that it should be stripped of the crystals and then sent to be sprayed. Let the fun begin. Whose bright idea was it that I put this together? Don't we have an engineer on our staff, technically? I clearly... Uh, yeah, I'm not so good at this. <laughs> you know what, it doesn't matter, because yeah. looking at it, I'm thinking it has to be sprayed anyway. Definitely. I don't know what your afternoon's looking like, but... I'm totally jammed. Okay, well, I'm totally cramped, so... <laughs> Who's left? Lindsay? Hi, Lindsay, it's Jess. We're just wondering if there's any possible way that you can pick up 20, yeah, 20 chandeliers. Um, they have to be sprayed today because they have to be on site tomorrow because they're getting installed tomorrow. Short end of the paint stick. Don't you know that already? Hey, Tommy, it's Lindsay calling. I'm trying to order the lacquer for the chandeliers. Yeah. And I don't know the color. To make it Sawyer's white. Sawyer's white? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, that's all I need. Thanks, Tom. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you, Mike. This bus finally stops with our sprayer, with only a few hours to refinish all 20 chandeliers. While he paints, a more uplifting color is applied at the restaurant, and those architectural finds are going up. Terrific. And a new service station blends in perfectly. It's good. But those old wooden tables still aren't working for me. There is so much lacquer on these that okay. I think they need to either go out to be completely stripped down and then sort of restart, because nothing is really going to stick to this okay. at all. And okay. plus to sand, this is going to be a war state. It's just going to take too long. Well, it doesn't take very long to make a new one. Yeah. Did I just say that? As if anyone doesn't already have enough to do, like play Delivery Boy. Look at that. All ready to go. Hi, sir. Is that all for me? It's all for you. Moment? I think it looks fabulous. Did we order these? We didn't order them, but I was walking through the factory and I saw them and 
I thought they were kind of fabulous, so I just added 12 of them to what would have been. They're gorgeous. Pretty nice. Marble tabletops for the bar area look great. As for those old wooden tables, I'm determined to replace them with a little help. starting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> in heels, let's not forget. Can we just... It's the way I like to do all my projects. This is how I do my best work, I find. It's like decorative. There. Beautiful, oh, hey? Please. Sweet. Do we have clamps? The clamp on one side is named Jessica, and the clamp on the other side is named Tommy. It's a nice little assembly line we've got going. The fabric's all being laminated at the same time. And reptilian vinyl for the chair seats is an edgy alternative. Looks like it's something that you can wipe off in a restaurant. Oh, yeah. But our fabric lamination idea for the chair backs. Oh my gosh. That's shocking. Ooh. Not so good. Oh, that's nasty. This one is going on the bank mats as well. Yeah, and it looks like it's starting to go. Forget it. All of the green accent that we brought in through the use of green fabrics yeah. is all headed for the nearest dumpster. It's bubbling, it's peeling, it's totally unusable, and it's all garbage. Come on! Yeah. Add that to the budget! We're renovating a restaurant in the wee hours. It takes a lot of sleep to look like this. Right? <laughs> Sleeper time. A lot of sleep. <laughs> and on a tight budget. I just don't think I can live with these tables as is. Every tiny mistake is a huge problem, like laminating fabric. All of the green accent that we brought in through the use of green fabrics yeah. is all headed for the nearest dumpster. Bring that back. <laughs> $42 a yard. It's an expensive mistake. We'll have to recoup some of the costs by canceling the ottomans and refurbishing some of the existing dining chairs. So what do you think about that? I love it. I think it looks great. The brighter the better, really. To save a few more dollars, we're designing the artwork ourselves in our vibrant green palette. restaurant is almost up. Time for the final push. If you find a light fixture that costs $139 and then you have a team of four designers spend hours putting it all together, how much does that fixture actually cost when it's completed? Like $7,000. Oh. I knew it was a big task when we started, but it seemed to grow monumentally throughout the process. There's four different styles of tables, four different styles of lights, and there's four different styles of chairs. And there was about four heart attacks that happened along the way. The tricky thing about a commercial space like this is you're talking about everything in multiples. Every single incremental increase in price really hits hard on the total budget. It's a little hectic and scary, but now I can finally sort of see where it's going, so I'm pretty happy with it. It looks great, I'm excited. We decided to split the restaurant into zones. A lounge at the front, which is comprised of the banquettes, the bistro tables, and the sprayed chairs. All right then. Sure it fits. Followed by the club chairs. Then we have a true, I call it the dining room area, which feels a little bit more formal. And then we have the back restaurant lounge. And at the beginning, that was the least desirable place in the restaurant to be. And we wanted to make sure that it became the most desirable. I think the customers are going to be surprised. I think they're really going to like what they see. Somebody got a knife. Okay. <laughs> Aaron. Very nice. He's got a space for trays. Oh, look at those. The tables just became the bane of my existence for a while. We wanted something that looked different. At about five o'clock at the end of the day, we made these tables. They represent everything about what this restaurant should be, which is it's not too fussy, it's 
kind of casual, but it's happy and it's funky at the same time. We took our direction for the overall space from the architectural salvage pieces that were here. We took what they had and we went for more of it. So we installed the real columns. We got big chunky crown molding to finish it off properly. We got a series of six windows which hang above the long banquette. And so here we have all of the mirrors and all the chandeliers. And now this place, you know, it doesn't just gleam, but it sparkles. It's unrecognizable difference, I would say. Oh, 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 oh,